All right. Let's see what we can do. What's this? These compass, sundial. Just imagine being lost at sea, and those instruments are the only thing standing between death and salvation. Yeah, it's crazy. Evelyn, I happened across the latest issue of Adventure Life. It was both a present delay. Oh, to see you grace its cover once again. I'm pleased to see you looking so happy, still doing what you enjoy. In spite of our separate lives, your accomplishments still bring me to uh, no small amount of pride. Attached is the photo of Edmund's graduation, top of his class. I guess we did something right. Thought he would kill me if he knew I told you. I want you to know that Edmund was devastated when you chose to journey to India without him this past summer. He has grown into a capable and self-assured young man. His flashes of insight remind me of you, particularly the look that crosses his face just before the Eureka moment. That's more. What's more, he loves and admires you more than I can express. I've had my shares of struggles over the years, and I've never asked you for anything. I'm now asking you to take Edmund on your next turn. I know it'll be a challenge, and you might not move at the pace you're used to, but I promise you this. You'll find a joy the likes of which no one else can provide. I look forward to hearing about your next big find. Keep making all of us proud. With warm regards, Ken. Hmm. I think she likes being in whoever this Evelyn is. Looks hey, like she likes to be They've got your favorite book here. In the spotlight. Really? Which one? A general history of the robberies and murders of the most notorious pirates. Yeah, more like a generally made up history. Even the author's name is a fake. Huh? Fake or not, this looks like a first edition. Are you serious? And this place, man. Wow. Want to take it with you? <laughs> nah. It'll just disintegrate in my backpack. Okay, let's check here. You gotta find that notebook, man. June 8th, 1937. My dearest E, your journey to El Mirado sounds fantastic. Did the Mayans leave anything behind for you? Look forward to hearing more in person upon my return to yours. A. Your heart. Where the hell is this elusive notebook? Damn it. Journals about everything in the world, but nothing for Mom. It's a big house. Don't give up yet. Hmm? Is that a letter? What's left of it? Allow the sarcophagus to join the stuff. fellow from no. Admin Tope's tomb in our like museum. They needed the money. I, I certainly part with the stuff either. Shut up. Okay. I don't think Mom's journals are anywhere in here. Let's uh, let's check upstairs. Let me read this thing. I certainly understand your reluctance. You did beat us to the find, after all. But our offer is more than generous, and I can assure you, it will be treated and displayed with proper care <sighs> and respect due to the sarcophagus and the effort undertaken to retrieve it. You have enjoyed its magnificence in your home for years. It is time to share it with the rest of the world. I hope you are reconsidering my offer. Yours sincerely, Peter K. G.R. Acquisitions. No. What's more? Ooh, what's this? Samurai. Eh? And you recognize the crest? Uh, Hollyhock leaves are, um, let's see, don't tell me, don't tell me, uh, Tokugawa clan. Yeah, right you are. What else is here? 
Yeah, you're right. I don't think there's anything in here. In this section of the house. Let's go somewhere else. Hey, what's that? Nice little music. Jousting armor. Looks French. Did I come in here? Yeah, it looks like I didn't. So we just head up then. Before I go there, let's just check around here. Mom's stuff might be in one of these rooms. We gotta find another way in. Well, it won't let me? It's not letting me turn. Sam? Hold up. Hey, the air vent. Up there. Yeah, what about it? Well, yeah. That could get us into the room below it. Not us. You. What? I can't fit in there. Can you handle it? You kidding me? Can I handle it? All right. Let's see what you got then. Now I just gotta find a way up there. Uh huh. Are right, you ready? It's a Polaroid. Let me see. I think it still works. Come here. Now smile, all right? Don't lose it. Just a little bit more. Fortunately, yeah, you gotta keep shaking it. There we go. We got it. Okay. Up here. All right. Hey, don't fall. Wouldn't dream of it. It's all good. It's all good. There you go. A smoke de detector, huh? There. Let's see. Nothing. 
something there. Huh, I could go here? Let's do so. Wait a minute. Where did this lead then? Dead end. Figures. Almost there. Nothing on the head. Let's go. Interesting. <sighs> it's locked from this side too. And look around. Is there a key nearby? I'm pretty sure there's a big key, that, like the size of me, just hanging around somewhere. I'll look for it. Hmm. Evelyn, I was hoping I wouldn't have to write this letter. I was hoping our last conversation made my intentions clear. I was hoping that ignoring your repeated attempts to contact me would eventually send the right message. Discovering you sent my daughter a check in the mail means the message was too subtle for someone like you. I don't need your money. And more to the point, I don't want your money. I can take care of my family just fine without your help. It's insulting to both of our intelligence to pretend that your hollow gesture wouldn't somehow rekindle our relationship. What little uh, was left of our bond died the moment you couldn't bother to show up for dad's funeral. Right up to the moment he drew his last breath, he still loved you. I don't. I pray you find peace with whatever it is you've been seeking your entire life. Do not contact me or my family again. Edmund. Well, that's sad. Uh. Hmm. Got it. All right. Yeah, this is where he died. Must have been horrible. So, anything? Didn't see any journals. All right, well, we still got the other locked door, so come on. Okay, let's try it here. Let's see if this works. Journals galore. Well, let's see what we find. Yeah, it's got to be here then. Nope. There's no point, or there's no use in reading it if, if it's not even the right one. Oh, please let this be the one. No. Great. <clears throat> Could this be it? Whoa. <laughs> Cassandra M. Cassandra M. Sam. You got something? <gasps> this is it. <laughs> Evelyn bought a first edition of a general history of pirates of, of the pirates from a collector along with a stack of 18th century documents along them among them I found a very intriguing letter from one Joseph Burns who do not only admits to being a crewman on Henry Avery's ship but possibly hints at Avery's vast treasure 
What else could Riches of Paradise refer to? If he sent this letter from prison, he clearly didn't want the treasure with him. So where is it? Need to trace it back to the source. Henry Avery's attack on the Gunsway. Or Gunsway. Picture caption Joseph Burns. Whoa. Henry Avery. Gunsway heist. There. I've never seen this one. Yeah, me either. But that, you know, that's definitely Mom's handwriting. Put up your hands. Slowly. Hey, hey, hey. There's no need for that. What is he holding? Hey, hey, you keep your gun on me. Give me my journal. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. I'm sorry, Nathan. So what now? Now, we wait uh, for the police. Yeah, you don't want to have to deal with that headache. Stop. I mean, the hassle of ruining two kids' lives, that's... I really don't want to shoot you. Come on, lady, it was no harm, no foul, all right? We all must face the consequences for our actions. And at least let him go. I brought him down here so he could see our mom's stuff. That's it. He had nothing to do with this. What? I'm telling you that this is all on me. No. Your mother's stuff. Yeah, that, that journal. It was our mom's. You're Cassandra Morgan's boys. Uh, hi? My God. <coughs> I could have shot you. Yeah, yes, you still might, so, uh, do you mind? You knew her mom? She worked for me. As I'm sure you've noticed, I'm a collector of sorts. <laughs> That's sort of an understatement. So, Mom was like your translator? Your mother was the most brilliant historian I have ever met. We could have accomplished so much together. But then her illness and... I'm sorry. No, it's all right. Happened a long time ago. Of all her discoveries, this would have been her crowning achievement. Sick Parvis Magna. Greatness from small beginnings. So Francis Drake's motto. Yeah, Latin and historical figures. <laughs> Those were our dinner conversations. We were uh, a weird family. Did she ever tell you her theories regarding Sir Francis Drake and his heirs? Uh, Sir Francis Drake didn't have any heirs. Yeah. That's what history tells us. But your mother and I believed otherwise. Learning that old pirate's secrets is just one more adventure I have to let go. I guess there's a lot I have to let go. Forgive me. Ramblings of an old woman. Yeah. It is as much yours as it is mine. Who knows? Perhaps one day you'll be able to finish what she started. Uh, yeah, so, uh, we're off the hook, right? I'll handle the police. You found your way in. I 
trust you can see yourself out. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, Here. Uh, uh, thank you. Sorry about the mess. <laughs> Come on, Nathan. Let's go. <laughs> Are you okay? Holy shit. Hey. 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 Stan? Stan? Oh, the police. You all right? Wait, we have to do something. Yeah, we need to get the hell out of here. You can't just leave her here. It's nothing we can do for her. All right, we have to run. If the cops find us here, then this... Ma'am? Nathan! We gotta go. Right now. Oh, shit. Window, window, come on. Okay, you check upstairs. You, come with me. 